Hey guys, what's going on? This is Outdoorsman One. Look at that, got the t-shirts all official and stuff. I am here with Desert Recon on Instagram. This super awesome pre-runner built third gen, super wide body. Look at that, that thing is awesome. I'm here with him and he's helping me put my fiberglass fenders, my McNeil fenders on. So it'll look kind of similar to this, but second gen. And then also my Dobison's snorkel so today's gonna be a fun day we're gonna do that and then hopefully sometime within the next couple weeks we'll get it to paint so everything will match but we got to get it all mounted first and then go get it to paint so uh, let's dive right in not gonna be a full install of this stuff because it's a lot of trial by error so it's not gonna be a complete install watch how to do it but kind of just some time lapse and some this is what's going on. So guys, I'm really excited for this new look. Super exhausted, just got off a long week of work. So time to clear the mind doing something fun. Here we go, guys. Whew. Just got off work, definitely need these. Some things are definitely gonna be changing today. Last look at the truck like this. So the biggest pain in the ass so far is the antenna. there. Okay. Yeah, we can take that off and work it. All right guys, we have officially got the fenders on and it looks pretty sweet.
right guys, so you can see we also have the new mirrors on here. Yeah. Got a lot of updates on the rig. So the issue that we're kind of facing now is the template for the snorkel, the Dobinson snorkel. It, it works great for the stock fender, but the issue is the stock is right there. And we've got a two and a half inch bulge and all of the body lines are accentuated. They are uh, multiplied. So we're trying to figure out how we want to do it. And uh, this guy right here is the one making it happen. So it looks really good. I'm really excited to get this on and start uh, being able to do dorkle stuff. So this is for the bigger engine, my truck. This is for the smaller engine. But I guess he does have a supercharger on it. But. Safari Dobinson. Now I can hear those F-35s really well. And if I completely botch it, I will buy you a new set of fiberglass. If you're not impressed with how it turns out, That's my that fault. sucks for you. But if it works, <laughs> if it doesn't work, if it's destroyed, don't worry, you're, you'll get the cred for it regardless. <laughs> I'm sure I would. Kind of conservative and go inside the line again and then after this we should be able to Place start it. drilling out some of the other holes which we'll do the best we can on those given the difference in all the angles but... so now the issue that we're running into is our holes the right size and everything's lined up but because of this extra two and a half inches that we have here uh, because normally the fender goes down right about there right about here we have this extra flat bit here so you can see we're in down here and we're set back here but we are contacting here in the middle you can see it kind of rocks back and forth so we're gonna need to do some choppy choppy on the thing that we spent six hours installing. Okay, so we successfully have drilled out what we need. <laughs> um, the holes have been placed for mounting, and by that I mean the holes in the, uh, in the frame. <laughs> um, it's been a day. The holes have been drilled. <laughs> <laughs> now we're finally gonna get the air air intake on and uh, this is the stock one that likes to suck up dirt when you uh, go through it and uh, this man has a problem that we need to have an intervention about
Plastic is hot. Can confirm the plastic is hot. So now, since we removed all of the mounting holes so that it could sit flush, we are, well, Mr. Sir here is building some brackets out of this aluminum so that we can mount the bolts on the back of the snorkel to something solid to keep it legit. All right, hopefully this rounds up the day of projects with this guy. Pit Viper Man. It's been a long day and he has put up with me napping that day. So he is a saint. Check him out. Desert Recon. The man, the myth, the legend. Supercharger doing its work right now. And we are airborne. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are. We're putting this edge stripping on. They use it for like doors and stuff like that. So we're using this to kind of fill a little bit of that gap. Uh, we might in the future go with a little bit thicker edge stop um, to go in there to be able to uh, kind of eliminate a little bit of that because we had to uh, drill out part by part by part by part. And then because of the bulge on this, and you can kind of see the bulge from this perspective, you can see how from right here, it just jets straight out. And so obviously the snorkel is designed to lay flat against the stock fender. And then you get this in there and you're adding two and a half inches to the side width of the fender and all of the body lines are accentuated. So now nothing really contours right. So we had to remove all of that inside and the snorkel sits semi inside the fender now. So I am gonna have to come up with a kind of a custom inner fender. Uh, we'll work on that a different day. We've been here since like 7.30 this morning and it's uh, almost six o'clock p.m. Um, I've been up for over 31 hours now, um, intermediate napping. So uh, we're, we're gonna call it a day on this. We're just gonna get it operational, but we're gonna revisit this and do some inner fender work so that we're not worried about things, you know, dirt, mud, and whatnot, leaving from the inside of the fender. So this is what we got going on. We're just kind of fitting this. If you guys watched my original Bushwhacker uh, fender, install it's kind of the same deal we're just putting one of these trims on there just to match it so and it cleans that up real nice you can see the air intake on the inside and then also this custom fab uh, wrench du dual wrench uh, bendy mounting hardware for the snorkel because the template has holes that would be like right here right here as you saw earlier as we were drilling those holes and those holes correspond with these that are on the inside so this is, would be kind of the mounting points on the inside well as you can see we've just got a big gaping hole and then this is where the antenna would be uh, but we're not doing an antenna anymore that's the antenna wire I don't use the antenna and it was already broken so we are using these pieces 
of extruded aluminum. Uh, we drilled some holes and put some nylock nuts on there and used the factory holes that are already there and not being used. And we're gonna mount those on the inside to secure the uh, snorkel from the inside. Also, we're gonna use that uh, stock mount point, but we're just gonna use some 3M tape on here so we're not dropping any rivets. Uh, we learned the lesson from the previous owner of this truck who we hate desperately, so we're not gonna put any holes in any more into this poor truck. So we're, uh, we're almost done with this, and we'll see how it lines up. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Since you watched the whole thing, why don't you click that button right there that says subscribe. I kind of do a lot of stuff like this. And uh, check me out on Instagram for daily content. You know, it's not like you clicked out of the video. Remember, be good, be dangerous, be ready. And we'll see you on the trail. Oh shoot, I needed the Pam.